Your Excellencies, Friends of Sri Lanka, Countrymen, Ladies and Gentlemen. On the setting of a winter dusk, it indeed gives us a great pleasure to see you all for this wonderful event in commemorating the 75th anniversary of independence of the Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, a country like no other. Welcome you all with our very own salutation. Aibowan, Wanakkam, Assalamu Alaikum, and Good Evening. Dear Madam, Dr. Amani Bukamas, our chief guest of today's celebration, we welcome you once again. Thank you for gracing our occasion with your presence. Dear friends, a brief about our chief guest, Her Excellency, Minister Dr. Amani Bukamas. As a parliamentarian, she holds the ministry portfolios of public works and electricity, water, and renewable energy. As a veteran politician, Dr. Amani is a graduate from University of Kuwait, holding a PhD in civil engineering from Ohio State University. Madam, we are sure of your support and assistance to our embassy and to our people living in Kuwait. Please do accept our appreciation of your presence this evening with us. We wish you the best in your career and part of serving your people and your country. Distinguished guests, in line with the Sri Lankan tradition, we gracefully invite the chief guest and the guests of honor to light the oil lamp to invoke blessings. We now call upon His Excellency Khan Dipan Bala Subramaniam, along with Dr. Amani Bukhamas, Minister of Public Works and Minister of Electricity, Water and Renewable Energy. Mr. Hadmosa Dawar, Managing Director, Al Mullah Group. Mr. Zain Milhan, the President of Migrant Workers Association. Ms. Gauda Shauki, the President of International Women's Group. Also, we invite Mr. Khalil Al Yasin and Mr. Ali Hamada.
dignitaries and friends. Kindly stand to honor the national anthems of Kuwait and Sri Lanka. Ambassador. Assalamu alaikum. Good evening. I Bowan. Wanakam. Your Excellency, 
Amani Suleiman Abdul Wahab Bukhazam, the Minister of Public Works and the Minister of Electricity, Water and Renewable Energy, Your Excellencies, Diplomatic Corps, Distinguished Sri Lankans, ladies and gentlemen. Indeed, it's a great honor for me to be here today before such a distinguished audience. Allow me at the outset to extend a warm welcome to all of you. I wish to congratulate my fellow Sri Lankans in Kuwait a happy celebratory season. I also recognize that this season is very special for our Kuwaiti friends as this month marks the Liberation Day of Kuwait. So let me take this opportunity to congratulate all my friends in Kuwait. Excellencies, I am particularly pleased to have the presence of Honorable Minister, Her Excellency Amani Suleiman Abdul Wahab, one of the well-educated and quintessential politicians. We are honored by her presence. Dear friends, today's event marks the 75th anniversary of the independence of Sri Lanka. And I am glad that you found time from your tight schedules to grace this occasion. Sri Lanka emerged as a sovereign state in 19. 48, having experienced a colonial rule of five centuries. The process of nation building has been quite tedious and challenging like many other nation experienced. Lucky to successive government, they ensured in the post-independent years the universal access to education, and health care to our citizens. And the results of such far-sighted vision is quite conspicuous in these modern days. The Sri Lankan community today is endowed with a very high literacy rates, health care, and a reasonable living standard in the region. Realizing the importance of international relations, the first priority of the nation building process of the post independent Sri Lanka was to forge relations. Forge relations with immediate neighbors and the big powers. And today I'm very happy to mention that Sri Lanka has been maintaining diplomatic relations with 176 countries. Sri Lanka remains since the day of independence a constructive contributor to the many regional and international organizations and our active role in non-aligned movement, the Commonwealth, the Colombo Plan, and the historic Bandung Conference are testimony to our constructive contribution to the international community. Distinguished guests, if I may touch on the relations between Sri Lanka and Kuwait. Sri Lanka and the state of Kuwait enjoy a very long-standing relations. The footprint of pearl divers of Kuwait could be traced to prehistoric days. Sri Lanka established diplomatic relations with Kuwait in 1975, and we have enjoyed a diplomatic journey of over 50 years. And the 2021 marked the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations with Kuwait, which also triggered quite a range of commemorative events both in Kuwait and Sri Lanka to mark this momentous achievement. Kuwait is also home for over 100,000 Sri Lankans. 
whose presence and contribution over the past years has become the major driving force of the relations between Kuwait and Sri Lanka. In the recent past, we've been successful in diversifying our migrant labor from the traditional sectors to professional and skilled sectors which contribute to the nation building process of Kuwait. I wish to thank the private and the cooperative sectors and the business entities for their trust placed and the recognition of Sri Lanka's able, educated and trainable workforce who continue to contribute to the state of Kuwait. With regard to the political relations, the Joint Ministerial Committee is one of the key political engagement we annually have with Kuwait, where the senior officials of various disciplines meet and deliberate on matters of mutual interest. Bilateral trade and tourism have registered in the recent years quite a respectable figures showing clear signs of recovery from the impact of COVID-19 pandemic. Air connectivity has improved with both Sri Lankan Airlines, our national carrier, and Al Jazeera, operating increased number of frequencies on a daily basis. Kuwait Fund has been one of the sources that supports a few important projects that improve the infrastructure in Sri Lanka and thereby contribute to the socio-economic development of our country. These are a few reflections of the growing relations between Sri Lanka and the state of Kuwait, which continue to strengthen our relations. It is important at this juncture to express my government's sincere appreciation to His Highness the Emir, His Highness the Crown Prince, His Highness the Prime Minister, and Honorable Foreign Minister for their continued support that enhance our relations. Last but not the least, I am duty bound at this juncture to express my deep appreciation to our special partners for co-organizing today's evening. The Al Mullah Exchange, which is represented by the Managing Director Mr. Dawar and his executives, the Sri Lankan Airlines, the Migrant Workers' Welfare Society, the Grand Hyper, Metro Hospitals, TVS Travels and Cargo for their generous support. I must also express my deep appreciation to Mirage, who has made their magic even today to light this audience up to an international standard. My special thanks go to Mr. Kalum Vijay Singha and his crew, headed by Sharif. Also, I wish to thank Al Faisal Studio for the decor they have marvelously done, and also the Regency Hotel Management. With those words, I conclude my remarks, and I hope you will enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you once again, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, for being with us today. Thank you. Your Excellency, thank you for that inspiring and timely delivery. May we invite the guests so, to cut the ceremony cake.
Ladies and gentlemen, now we will bring the magic of Sri Lankan dance coming alive in a stunning on stage spectacle. Designed, scripted, and composed using our very own talent of Sri Lanka. Give a hand of applause to the talent marvelous Rasika Kotalavala Dancing Academy. Gunda, 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 gunda
was Natando, a dance to show the difference of male version of an energetic power thumbing movement while the women be seen with elegance and feminine. Next is the display of dance Bharata, a classical form dance which has been present in the island for over hundreds of years, predominantly practiced by the Tamils. A blessing from Hindu god Shiva to sage Bharata and it was initially practiced by a group of women who were dedicated to serve the Hindu temples. These dances were known as Devadasis, the handmaidens of the gods. Today, its popularity is attained internationally, yet its roots are found back when even men took part in this as worship and meditation. presentation about Sri Lanka.
Wishing you long life. Sri Lanka has over 2,000 years of a trading history with major powers around the world. It is today an important strategic partner for Europe and the rest of the world, presenting significant trade and investment opportunities in tourism, exports, services and education. Sri Lanka is gaining vast global recognition as it continues to emerge as one of the world's best tourist destinations with accolades from various travel guides, travel magazines and travel websites. With many UNESCO heritage sites, beaches, wildlife parks and hill country resorts bottled up into a small space, Sri Lanka is undoubtedly one of the best holiday destinations waiting to be discovered and celebrated. Our island is blessed with many unique experiences. Many who set foot on the island had considered it a part of a divine existence. Our Ayurvedic retreats, meditation and natural wonders continues to heal the bodies and minds worn out with the cares of life. Spoil yourself in luxury star-class hotels, heritage bungalows or boutique hotels located around the island. Work remotely with a beautiful working backdrop of lush green mountains, coral reefs or powdery sand. Dwell in nature's cradle as you experience three of the finest 18-hole golf courses in Asia or take part in international sporting festivals around the island. Acclaimed author Arthur C. Clarke once said, The island of Sri Lanka was a small universe and contained as many variations of culture, scenery and climate as some countries dozen times its size. Ever since the 1950s glory days of the silver screen, Film producers and directors such as Don Boyd and Steven Spielberg have raved about how beauty, light and variety of the island of Sri Lanka make it a perfect outdoor film set. The island of Sri Lanka has also been the choice for a string of Hollywood A-listers who have visited this little wonder for travel and leisure. The island has five international airports and nine domestic airports, giving air travelers a range of options for efficient connectivity. Sri Lanka is diverse, compact and authentic and has the highest density of waterfalls, plenty of water bodies and rivers. 33% of the island is forest, which includes 26 national parks. Sri Lanka, the nature's treasure chest, is home to one of the oldest civilizations in the world. Its prehistory consists of planned cities, magnificent palaces, and expansive man-made reservoirs, stunning temples and monasteries, green gardens, and hard-to-believe monuments and works of art. With nearly 1,600 kilometers of palm-fringed coastline baked to perfection surrounding the country, Sri Lanka is the ideal destination for beach bums worldwide. Each day on this island promises new experiences, discoveries and lifelong memories, perfect for the post-COVID bucket list traveler. Each place and each smile in Sri Lanka has a story to tell. We have so much to share with you, so come along to our island in paradise. Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka.
decades is over and Sri Lanka, the island of diversity, is welcoming more visitors than ever to her golden shores. Adding to the vast list of authentic experiences to be had on the island, Sri Lanka Tourism Promotion Bureau has been organizing a variety of exciting events across all major cities in Sri Lanka for travelers to participate in. From kaleidoscopic light shows to grand seasonal music concerts, variety shows and even watch parties for international sporting events, December 2022 has been a festive season to remember in Sri Lanka. We have kicked off 2023 with a blast around the country and now your favourite island holiday destination is ready to take you on an unforgettable adventure this new year. So. Let 2023 be the year that you visit Sri Lanka and become part of the enchantment, magic and roller coaster of experiences that is so Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a story. A timeless tale of culture and wonder. Each new chapter as colourful as the last. Her pages boast of a 2,500-year-old heritage, intertwined with trails of myth and mystery. Sri Lanka is a popular Ramayana expedition site, attracting spiritual seekers from far and wide. She is filled with curiosity. It's a love story worth sharing. A journey worth making. A memory truly worth capturing. So go ahead. Dive into the deepest of depths. Conquer the highest peaks. It's the only gamble worth taking. Sri Lanka is a tale of historical preservation and futuristic innovation. From spiritual retreats to worldly indulgences. Here, everyone's a winner. A land so inviting. It's a sanctuary for everyone, far, far from home. So, come write your own story. Sri Lanka is celebrating its 75th year of independence in 2023. And what a journey it has been. Since gaining independence from British rule in 1948, Sri Lanka has emerged as a nation with a rich cultural heritage, stunning natural beauty, and warm hospitality. The country has come a long way in terms of tourism, with the past few months seeing a steady increase in visitors. From the excitement of the FIFA zone to the joy of Christmas Colombo, tourists have been having a wonderful time in Sri Lanka. The positive feedback and testimonials are a testament to this. As we move into 2023, Sri Lanka has been highlighted as one of the best destinations to visit by travel blogs and industry experts. With its pristine beaches, ancient temples, lush jungles and delicious cuisine, there's no better place to experience the true essence of Asia. So come and rediscover Sri Lanka this year. We invite the world to come and experience the warmth and beauty of our country for yourself. Happy 75th Independence Day, Sri Lanka. Lord Suniam, who has been worshipped by most Sri Lankans since the distant past. Diety of power, energy, heroism, fear is in this stance. It is a choreography that combines creative moments of Sri Lankan low country dance tradition, which tells the story of birth, power, 
image characteristics and the strength of God Gambara.
Raban, Pansitore Nada is a type of tambourine. Apart from the classical dance forms, there are also folk dances which are associated with commonest activities and festivities. Palamua Mela Katula Vijayava Niridu Raja Kala
Kumari. Among the women's dancers that come from the Kolam Shed in the low country dancing, it is allowed to present the uniqueness of the soft dance in front of the world, which encapsulates new creative movements associated with Narlata Kolam. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your kind attention, please. Today, the Embassy of Sri Lanka in Kuwait recognizes the following members of the Sri Lankan community for their services. Your Excellency, to give out the mementos, you're kindly invited to the stage. Mr. Sain Milhan, President, Sri Lankan Migrant Workers Welfare Society, Kuwait.
Mr. Niraj, General Secretary. Ms. Aisha Vitanage, Executive Member. Mr. Abdul Qayyum, Chief Executive Member. Mr. Naushad Abdin. Mr. Abdul Razak. Thank you, Your Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now to conclude the 75th Independence Anniversary Celebrations. We hope you have enjoyed the Sri Lankan hospitality, the tasteful feast, and the colorful performances. We once again thank you for in being present in granting the occasion. And until we see you again, on yet another spectacular Sri Lankan cultural celebration, signing off. Iroshni Varnapura and Kenoli Bulshans. Good night. Aibowan. Wanakkam. Assalamu alaikum. Sri Lanka, Dharma, Dalai, Akeva, Nagama, Kesede, and Dharma.